Well, I started the day with a lovely Midwest breakfast of two slices of Casey's breakfast pizza, a sip of a mellow yellow, a little bit of orange juice, and of course, three Advil. What's going on everybody? My name's Brian, you're watching England Anarchy. I hurt everywhere <laughs> because I'm old and we've been fishing for three days, uh, but we've been having a blast out here. Uh, when I say we, I mean that guy up in the front of the boat, Mr. Rusty Robbins. Rusty's Customs Lures, you should check that out. I will leave his particulars down below. Uh, he makes some awesome baits and we are tossing them. And one of those awesome baits scored yesterday, actually two of them, the five inch six sucker and the six inch six sucker got a 40 and a 46 and a half yesterday. So it was an amazing day on the water for us. Trying to recreate that today. We have slightly better conditions, I would say, as far as the wind not blowing us all over the place. Do have high skies. It is the day of the new moon. It is also the day of the full solar eclipse. So we'll see if we can catch ourselves an eclipse muskie. <laughs> And we're actually pretty close to like, I don't know, the path of total coverage. So we'll see what that ends up looking like later on today. But until that, we're going to get casting and see if we can get one of these beautiful Indiana muskies to hit. All right, folks. Well, hope you're not sick of seeing this yet because you're going to see it a lot probably. This is the six inch six sucker. It's what I got that beautiful fish on last night. So I am tossing that, of course, on my nine foot surgical strike, a salt stick 2020 from Chaos Tackle. 400 tranks and of course 80 pound fins big game excess let's take a look at what rusty's got here look at this beautiful little number isn't that pretty that's the little five inch that's the six inch rusty got a beautiful fish on that little five inch yesterday as well so the six suckers were doing work yesterday saw three or four other fish so we are hoping that the same will hold true for today we can put a couple in the boat and hopefully at least see a couple here because we could use it right now well everybody a little midday uh, eclipse update it's happening right now and it is i don't know if you can tell by the camera but it looks bizarre out it is like dark i think we're in the spot where it's like 98 percent covered uh funny thing is muskies apparently don't care because we uh, have not seen a single muskie all day we've had really nice conditions i mean it's been high skies but this time of year i'm usually not worried too worried about that uh get that water warmed up and uh hopefully get some fish shallow but we have not seen anything we've been casting out deep shallow everything in between so maybe that'll be after the eclipse i don't know we'll see <laughs> we'll see what happens but uh yeah this is weird <laughs> All right, back to fishing. There's a fish. Okay. I mean, he was, he was on it a little bit. Apparently he just wanted to come up and see the eclipse too. Huh. <laughs> and uh, he's like, dude, I had a 54 all day up. Uh, it was it had its nose on the thing. I just couldn't get it to eat. Ooh, yep, 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 yep. Oh, dude, he's ramped up. Man, he was hot. Are you kidding? <laughs> how, how did that thing turn off? I know. 
and you sped it up and he was he stayed right with it okay well that's once I got around that trolling motor he's gone that's two quick follows that one was more ramped up than the other one. Yeah. So. Not a bad size one either. No, that, that was, was probably mid thirties, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. That's well. good. There's one. That's the one you had yesterday. Yeah. That big chunk taken out of the back. Was he right on it? Uh, no. No. Hmm. Later follow. He was a little bit behind. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you'll see it on the video. I, yeah. saw, I just saw the chunk come in from his back, but it never even went through the. It never even went through a turn in the gate. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, they had that that big mistake, unmistakable chunk though. I seen it. Yeah. I saw yeah. the chunk before I saw the fish. <laughs> Rusty and I would go on to fish for another three or so hours after that last follow, and never saw another muskie, even though, as far as I could tell we had some really good conditions. It was the day of the new moon. Obviously it was the day of that solar eclipse and it was actually kind of cool. We were in a spot that was 98% covered and for me 98% covered, it's amazing how light it stays, but it was also amazing like kind of how eerie and weird it got for a little while there, but it didn't seem to make a difference. And when I was going through Facebook, and looking at all the people that said they were out that day, I didn't see a single person that said they had a good day. And so, yeah, I guess I would love to know if anybody out there, anybody watching this video, had a really good day or had a really bad day or saw fish, didn't see fish. Leave some comments down below. I would love to know a little bit more about how the eclipse maybe affected your day of fishing. One other thing I wanted to talk about is I will be working closely with muskies inc this year to help promote the sport that we all love uh, of muskie fishing so i just want to take a moment to say check out the link below if you're not a member think about becoming a member they do a lot of good work with educating people with stocking fish and i'm really excited to be working with muskies inc one thing that you'll be seeing that if you've been watching my channel you know that I do is measure fish and I don't say it all the time and I probably will start saying it more often this year but the reason I do that even if it's a smaller fish is to enter it in the muskies Inc lunch log now there's a couple different reasons first and foremost the lunch log is a database that muskies Inc members can use to look up a lake see what the size of fish that are being registered are. You can decide trips based on this. You can search for new bodies of water. There are so many things that the lunge log is handy for for us as fishermen. Another thing it's handy for is biologists are able to use that information for certain lakes, certain regions. I once had somebody say, well, there's over 400,000 entries in the muskies Inc. lunge log, why would we need to keep putting it in there? Well, that is a large mass of data. And yes, hundreds of thousands of muskies have been entered. But there might be some lakes where there's maybe only one or two muskies entered. So if you enter one or two, you've just expanded the amount of data on that particular lake by 100%. So even though there are that many entries, those one or two entries here and there could be very important for somebody that wants to study that particular lake or that area. I want to bring this up because there's been some stuff on social media, people bashing other people for measuring fish. Now, the way I look at it is people want to know how big their muskies are, especially if they're brand new. And a lot of guys that have caught hundreds of muskies, that have gotten to measure them, that all of a sudden are wagging their finger at everybody, telling them not to do that, I don't think that's the way to go about it. I think the way to go about it 
is to educate people about proper handling, getting those tools out and cutting hooks when we have to, because let's face it, our relationship with a muskie starts with us jamming a hook into its face. I think it's a little weird that we get so precious about not measuring the fish after we just shoved some steel into their face. So just my take on it. But I think if we can get people to handle those fish in the net a little bit better, wet the bump board, you know, don't stand up with the fish, kneel down, keep it low uh, so that if it does freak out and go everywhere, it doesn't have as far to fall. None of this is ever going to be perfect. So we just need to do the best that we can to take care of these fish and promote the sport. I don't think a good way to do that is by belittling people that are just getting into it. Might be excited about that 36 incher that they just caught. It might be their personal best. They want to know how big it is. So let's get those bump boards wetted, maybe measure them in the water. I'll be going over this stuff in a lot of the videos to help people along and just be nice people. That's all. <laughs> That's all I'm asking. So I will end this video by leaving you with that. Let's go out there. Let's have some fun. Be nice to everybody. Let's be helpful and let's catch a bunch of muskies. All right, everybody. I appreciate every single one of you watching this and I will see you on the next video.